Bob Amoruso opened these doors 50 years ago today. Back on November 1st, 1972, Dixie Highway was only two lanes, a haircut, $2. That's when the Navy War veteran decided to build this Western Tavern inspired barbershop on a plot of just sand. Today, 50 years later, there's still a cut above. It's a weekend when I was closed, I had to go somewhere. I'd come back, open the shop up for him. Bob Amoruso has gone above and beyond for his community. That's why, aside from the hairdo, his nickname is The King. There for a client in a crunch, even on Christmas Eve. He says, I just got off, he's a UPS driver. So I said, come on down, I'll open up for you, no problem. That dedication has kept him in business for five decades, which hasn't been easy through a pandemic and now inflation. People come in here with two kids, three kids, you know, and then you do the multiplication and it, it could be a hardship. So he gives discounts and keeps cuts below 20 bucks. But his true secret to success. Perseverance, endurance, uh, loyalty. Loyalty that has paid off. I started here in 71. Or 72, he opened his shop. Yeah. And, uh, and then my son's first haircut was in his shop. When I was a kid, he used to come over to our house dressed up as Santa Claus. Shoppy's son now gets a monthly trim from their neighborhood, St. Nick. In fact, countless Martin County families have counted on Bob's cuts for generations. Bob's a very special man. And it's just a family in here. We all, we come in and, and we talk and we joke and... You know, sometimes we cry, we hug, whatever's going on. We always joke back and forth around, like, you know, the bartenders come in here and they'll tell us our problems, or we'll go to the bar and tell them ours. Bob says he's managed to keep the price of a cut at 17 bucks, and he'll do what he can to keep it there. His son, although he's poised to take over his chair, will not anytime soon because Bob has no plans of going anywhere. In Stewart, Tara Jake, YWPBF 25 News.